to. Can't see, girl. I mean, it's black against black. Can't see what you're doing. So I have my trusty samurai sword, and Graham has his trusty samurai umbrella. Show it, show it. See? So, today is a very special day because. Because. Because it's a special day because it's three more days before April has to go back to school. Yay! Are you staying for a while or do you have uh, any summer? We will be staying for a while. Yeah, yeah. We will sure. be doing something here in the market. Sure. We want to take a couple of videos. <laughs> yeah, I might have a coffee. Right. Hi. So I have got my prize. Well, that is a little bit of a disappointment because I won the grand prize and I was fully expecting to have like this full fun fair where we have an official photo taken with the Four Seasons photographer or something like that. Because you see some prizes being given away by some of the hotels here and whenever the winners pick up the grand prizes, there always seems to be a photo, you know. But I don't know why we didn't have an official photographer today, which sucks, but that's okay because I have you guys, I've got the video and I've got my own photographer here. Anyway, so I was met by Cristiano who works in the public relations team and he seems to be a really really nice guy. He was nice and friendly and all of that and he was the one who presented me my grand prize. And what's my grand prize? Let's take a look. So that's the gift certificate. I'm so excited for this, you know, again, it's the first time I've won something big and it happens to be at my favorite hotel brand for seasons. Here you go. And what did I win? Du -du 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 -du. Yay! It is presented to the Chocolate Day winner. First prize, so that is me, the Chocolate Day. They put a post out on Facebook and they asked the question, when was chocolate invented? And because, again, as I've mentioned earlier, I love chocolate and I love Four Seasons, I decided to go for it. So I went online and I searched, you know, when chocolate was invented. And it was invented in 18-something-something uh, in Europe. Well, it was brought into Europe, but I forgot which year. 18-something-something. <laughs> something. That's a good guess. Yes, 18-something-something. Something. But anyway, I didn't want my answer to be too generic. You know what it's like, right? When I mean, I, I took a look. 19 something I, something. Twenty or twenty something something. I took a look at some of the answers that had already been posted, and it was pretty much obvious that they all copied from the internet. So I wanted to switch things up a little bit, but I thought I wasn't as creative. But I think what got me the first place prize is because I sort of said, well, you know, chocolate was invented in eighteen something something, and I said in brackets, 
who conveniently records all these dates anyway, knowing that they would be important. So I think that's what got me the winning prize. But seriously, who records all these dates, right? So chocolate, you bring chocolate into Europe, and who knows that's gonna be a big thing, right? But then somebody conveniently was just standing there and decided, oh, chocolate, hmm, yeah, I might as well, you know, just write down when chocolate was taken to Europe. Right? I mean, who does all of that? <laughs> Seriously, who does all of that, right? I mean, the first day that somebody drank beer, who recorded that date? You know, I mean, even with the first photograph, who recorded that, you know? Or even the first postcard, how did they know that sending out postcards would be so important, would be vital, you know, would become so popular right now, right? Anyway, so what did I win? Don't roll your eyes, girl. I won one night royal suite accommodation with buffet breakfast for two persons, which means unfortunately Avril cannot join us for the buffet breakfast. But it is a one night royal suite. I'm just a little bit bummed that the valid date is only until the 31st of January. My birthday is in March, so I obviously can't use this for my birthday. But Graham's birthday is in October, which is two months later. And I have a feeling that's what we are gonna use this for. Anyway, so that is it. I am very, very happy today. I am quite happy with this. So, we are here at Four Seasons, as I have mentioned. So aside from winning this beautiful, beautiful, this wondrous prize, I have also brought over some mail to open. The first mail we shall open today is... Let me put this down first. Something purple, look at that. I really, really love this purple bubble mailer. Purple is my favorite color, so that's why I'm standing here. And I've decided to open this one first. So this is from Anne, Anne Crane in the US. Let us open it up, let's see what it is inside. Let's see if my trusty samurai sword would do the trick. Virginia morning. Nice. I like that postcard. It says grant a wish tag and wishes. So let's see what the grant a wish is. I feel something nice and soft. Looks like it's summer scarves. This is so cool. Oh, this is absolutely perfect. I should have opened this when it first got here. Look at that. Look at the summer scarves. This is so awesome. Thank you very much, Anne. And these are nice colors too. You picked well. I like this. Thank you very much. How does that look? Nice. Let's see what else is in this package. cannot be so vulgar here and my daughter is just right there <laughs> what else then we have this last piece of item from Anne what is this it's a necklace there's a necklace look at that this is very nice this is from paparazzi I almost feel like I oh necklace and earring set look at that That's that nice is so color. cool huh it's a nice color. Yes, I know. I don't have this color yet, so this is quite interesting. Nice. I almost feel ready for a day out right now with the scarf and the necklace. This is so cool. When I first saw the other thing, I thought it was... Look, the first thought that came to my mind was rings. I thought these were rings. <laughs> but thank you very much, Anne. This is a very beautiful package. I'm loving the scarf and I'm loving this jewelry set. I'll be sure to wear this one in my next vlog. Thank you very much. So, we have moved on over to this sitting area. I just wanted to take my first video there because I like the color purple and it was in keeping with the purple flower theme that was there. It can be a little bit tiring standing up and doing vlogging, you know, so that's why we are now seated here to open up our next piece of mail. This next piece of mail is also from the US. 
This is from Cassandra Plaza. I would like to think that it's a teaspoon, but I don't think it is. I'm it guessing feels, it's a mini walking stick. It feels quite soft, and there's but like I a little. No, but it you is know. a candy cane candy. But but there's like a little bit of a hook here, so I think it's a cane. So you want to open this, or shall I open this? It's a walking stick. A mini in case you're extra short. In case I'm extra short, that's a mini walking stick for elves. Be careful. Look for the note. That's a very big note. Dear Crusel, inside. Inside this package, you will find a candy called hot tamales. They are pretty famous when I was growing up. They are slightly spicy. So I hope it doesn't burn too bad. Oh no, it's not gonna burn too bad. I hope this makes it well to you so you can feature it on your YouTube channel. Your friend, oh, so this is from another Facebook group. It's not the regular Facebook group that I'm in. But yes, it made it. Cassandra, it made it on my YouTube channel. Look at that, it made it. <laughs> and it was opened by April. And it was opened by a special guest here. She says it was a mini walking stick for rather short people. <laughs> Season's greeting, look at that. So this is the hot tamales. Apparently it's very spicy. It looks like jelly beans. Oh. Yeah, it probably is, like the jelly belly there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's hot tamales. Uh, fierce cinnamon. Cool. Flavored chewy candies. Cinnamon. Uh, I like spicy stuff, but I'm not really a huge fan of cinnamon. So this is going to be very interesting. Thank you very much, Cassandra. Just to let you know, this has made it safely here and I have specially picked your mail to open up in this very, very beautiful setting. Thank you very much. Yay! So the next piece of mail we shall open up is from Bettina Gall from Australia. And it says right there, it is for the letter O tag. So this one is supposed to contain an item that starts with the letter O. I'm guessing it's an orange. What do you think, April? Orangutan. What do you think this is? I think it's an orange. I think it's it's open. dried orange. It's an orca whale. Oh, it does say O for open this letter. <laughs> is it orange? Is it the fruit? Is it a whale? Is it... What is it, girl? What is it? Why are you laughing? It's a semi-naked mainlander walking behind you. Um, <laughs> he looks quite orange. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is I can't it? really see from here. The inside of the envelope is orange. Oh, for open this envelope. There's another envelope inside the envelope. What if this is like a whole thing of envelopes that all I have to do is open because it starts with an O, right? I'll like be the opening, Russian dolls. I'll be opening envelopes forever for the letter O. Ooh, I could do that for the next letter O. I'm gonna send Heiki one of those, you know, like large envelopes and then it's got another large envelope and then another envelope inside it. So all you have to do is just spend the whole time opening it. I mean, now you've talked about it, it's not going to be a surprise, is it? Yeah, but I'm willing to bet Hake is not going to watch this. Okay, are we there yet? Oh. <laughs> what is this? Uh, uh, uh. It's 35 centimeters, inflated balloon height, easy self seal. And then we have the Orchid <laughs> Botanical Eye Mask. This is cool. Yay, it contains one pair. So that is what Bettina from Australia sent me. You think it's only a balloon, but it's not. Flip it over and it has an eye mask. Woo! <laughs> I'm so good at this. Thank you once again, Bettina Gall from Australia. This is a great letter. Oh, I'm really loving these scarves. This is so cool. I like the designs on this one. I like the patterns of this one. The last piece of mail we shall open today is this. This is from Rhonda Perkins in New York, USA. I think it's a magnet. It's quite hard. Small, see? Small and small and hard. <laughs> Excuse me. I really think it's a magnet. Let's hope I'm right. Whoa. note. Priscel, here is your tourist fridge magnet from Wishes in the group. I live near Kenka Lake, one of 11 of the finger, finger lakes. Finger lakes? Larger lakes? Looks like 
One of 11 of the Finger Lakes of upstate New York. Hope you like it. Rhonda J. Perkins. So it is a tourist region right now. Let's see what it is. Oh, Keuka Lake. Keuka Lake? Keuka Lake. There you go. So that is it from Rhonda Perkins. She sent me a fridge magnet. Yay! Thank you very much, Rhonda. So that is it for today. That is all the mail that I have chosen to open for today in this beautiful Four Seasons setting. Have a good day. Have a good day, and I shall see you guys again in the next video. Goodbye! addressed to Graham and given by none other than Heike from Germany so for this one Graham has to open it I'm not gonna open it so Graham has to be in front of the camera and I'm gonna take a break and go behind the camera <laughs> all right Graham you're up you need to retouch put a little bit of lipstick Graham no <laughs>